Welcome. I would like to return to the topic of Evernote and offer you examples of how you might use this application to more effectively collect, store, and use digital information that you acquire during your academic career. Evernote can be used to store both typed text and digital files, including Adobe PDF files, photographs, audio recordings, and video recordings. The combination of Evernote and Scannable, which is another application from the Evernote Corporation, and is also free, can turn any smartphone into a very powerful document scanning tool, replacing the need for a traditional document scanner. Photograph or Adobe PDF copies of scanned images are automatically saved into Evernote through the scannable application and then may be accessed on any computer into which your uh, Evernote login credentials are entered. And this includes through a web browser interface to access information that you have put into your Evernote database you don't need to have Evernote installed on the phone or tablet or computer. You can use a web browser interface. Here I'm displaying the window for a single note within Evernote. I can enter the title of the note. And then here, I can begin typing text into the note. I can select the text, change its type characteristics, even change its colors or highlighting. Um, I don't have all the capabilities that are built into most word processing software programs, but I do have many of the most commonly used functions, including the creation of bulleted lists or numeric lists. I can even create checkboxes very easily here. Oh, this uh, underlining and coloring is annoying. Let me go back and get rid of some of this. I use um, an Evernote note that's synchronized with my wife's uh, Evernote account to uh, create a family shopping list. So we have items, uh, check marks of different items uh, for each of the stores at which we routinely shop. And as we pick up the items at the store and put them into the shopping cart, we can check them off on our phones. And it's more than once kind of save the bacon by helping us not forget to buy some bacon. Here in a different note, I've inserted the items that I addressed in a different video on information literacy. I could use Evernote to keep track of the items that I present in videos or the script that I might use. I prefer to use Scrivener because it's a more flexible writing tool, but Evernote would have worked very well had I chosen to use it.
Outside of those two individual notes, looking at my general Evernote account, I can see that I have a note on information literacy, the note in which I demonstrated the modification of text elements. I have an entry here for what's in the chest freezer that we keep out in the garage. I have here only a Microsoft Excel worksheet. I can open the worksheet from within Evernote and you can see that um, within the basket I have different kinds of milk and some ice cream. And then inside my chest freezer, um, the contents are then organized inside plastic buckets to make it easier to find things. Um, my big fear with a deep freezer is that we will just start piling things in there and then we will forget what's in there. So instead, when we purchase the chest freezer, I also purchase some buckets from IKEA, some of which hold our three gallon size, a couple of the buckets are six gallon size, and inside those we put different items. For example, within one bucket we've got some fish, within another bucket we've got some sliced meats. Inside the third bucket is the most important stuff. That's where we keep our frozen chocolate candies. Bucket, the fourth bucket has uh, some peaches that we prepared uh, at the end of last season. And then in the larger buckets, we've got chicken in one and beef products in the other. But in regard to Evernote, this is a Microsoft Excel file that if I were to make any modification to it, save it, close it, the file itself is stored in Evernote. And because you can see here in the upper right corner, it's, this note is shared between two people. That's my wife's Evernote account and my Evernote account. We both have ready access to this Excel file even when we're out of the house and working on our smartphones. So it's this, this digital file, this Microsoft Excel file is automatically synchronized to each of the devices on which I have installed Evernote and each of the devices onto which my wife has installed Evernote. This is a very useful tool for sharing information between two people or among a group of people. For example, creating a note um, for the research that you've conducted on a group project for a class. If all members of the group were to use Evernote, it would be possible to share notes among the members of the group and whenever one of the notes is updated, everyone else automatically has access to those updates. Here on the left side of the Evernote interface is the option to create shortcuts. These are hyperlinks to notes within my Evernote database that I frequently access. For example, our family shopping list or I, my. Um, Excel file in which I keep track of auto mileage for the cars in the family, auto maintenance records, uh, family medical notes, uh, veterinary notes for our Siberian Husky, Mika, who I should bring to uh, a video one day. She's not much for um, sitting in front of the camera, but if uh, I coax her, she'll, she might come on camera one day. I also, these are just the notes that I commonly use within my Evernote account. You could create notes for um, literally the notes. Uh, so I'm using the word note in two different definitions. A note within Evernote is a, think of it as a document within the Evernote database. 
within one of these documents, you could keep the notes for one of your classes. So if you're attending five classes, for example, each semester, you could have five notes that semester and put each of those five over here on your shortcuts list. Or you may choose to create a different note, a different document for each class session or for each research session. How you choose to record your data and organize it is up to you. Evernote is eminently flexible. It's, um, I have found that Evernote doesn't force me to work in a particular way, depending on how I want to categorize, organize my information. Evernote can accommodate my preferences, including the adding of <clears throat> tags to notes. So, for example, this note about my favorite travel sayings is categorized under both the heading language and travel. This allows me to look at all of my notes related to language, all of my notes related to travel, or all of my notes that are related to both. In addition to categorizing notes using the tags, Evernote's search function will search within the body of notes and within the contents of most included digital files, such as Adobe PDF files. So, if I were to search for the phrase explore sources, this note about information literacy would be found. But there's another way to categorize information that also helps with organization, and that's the use of notebooks. Here on the left, you can see that I've created multiple notebooks. These are all the notes, and there's probably thousands of them, related to general academic topics. These are the notes that are related to argumentation. These notes are related to culture. These are the topics that work for my common research interests. And so I've created these uh, notebooks and named them myself. They did not come with Evernote. Evernote is flexible enough to allow each of us to configure the application to best meet our own needs. I hope you find this brief introduction to the creation of typed notes and the categorization within notebooks and the use of search tags within Evernote helpful. Evernote is very powerful. It will run on most modern computer systems that run the Microsoft Windows or the Mac OS operating systems. It'll also run on portable devices that run Android or Apple iOS. A single Evernote account can be shared across multiple devices, allowing the data entered or modified on one device to be automatically synchronized to the other device, as well as accessed through any web browser interface. You need a tool that will help you keep track of your notes. I recommend that you practice using Evernote to see if it could work for you. There are many applications with which you'll have to be famil become familiar while you're at college. Microsoft Word, Zotero, and I recommend Evernote. I wish you the absolute best 
with all of your academic note-taking, and I hope Evernote makes your note-taking a little bit easier. Bye for now.